Hey, I'm Al Corn, thanks for joining me in Vancouver, British Columbia right now, chatting with my friend Mark Brown. Mark is a director of a company called Rare Element Resources. I've been involved in this company for probably three or four or five years now. Uh, we did a registration with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for them that ultimately led to uh, their listing on the NYSE, uh, NYSE Amex. Uh, I have bought purchased stock in the company, so let's be perfectly cognizant of that. This is not registered. This is not advice coming from a registered investment advisor. This is simply an experience uh, coming from Al Corlin, who really happens to like this company a lot. As my buddy Bob Moriarty from 321 Gold says, you know, I am highly prejudiced in this particular situation. I still do, as I said, own shares in Rare Element. Let me give you just a little bit of a background of this company. Number one, uh, Rare Element has a very, very strong asset in the United States that Mark is going to talk about. But let's talk a little bit about the players. President of the company is Donald Ranta. Don is someone who I've known for five or six years. PhD, not a bad qualification. Mark is a director. Mark is a chartered accountant, very, very bright individual. The whole staff of this company is about as highly qualified as you can get. Let's talk a little bit about their cash position. They have enough money in the bank right now to see them through to the construction portion uh, of the evolution of this, uh, of this particular company. That's going to happen probably in about three years. They don't need to raise a nickel for three years because they have all the money right now. I've got to tell you, when Jim Dines came out and said, this is a company you need to take a look at, Mr. Dines was 100% correct. How you doing? I'm doing very good. Glad to be here. Let's do an overview. What are you guys doing right now? Well, we're busy. We're uh, we're actually just announced our gold resource, mm -hmm. and we're about to announce uh, our new rarest, or actually our final rarest drill results from our 2010 season, and then come out with a new resource estimate for our rare earth oxides at, mm -hmm. at Bear Lodge in Wyoming. Okay. Plans for I just continued development work, I would assume, for the rest of 2011. I just got off the phone with our geologist who's on his way to the site, and one of the things he's working on is the plans for next year. And they've got quite a crew uh, coming out for next year. There's going to be uh, uh, 20 to 30 people at different times working on site. Uh, very large drill programs uh, on both the gold targets and on the rare earth projects. It's going to be a busy place. This year. This year, yes. Yeah, so. you're saying that next year, this year. This year, yes, okay. in 2011, this, this summer coming up. Okay, so you're going to work on both the rare element aspect of, uh, of the asset and also the precious metals aspect of the asset. Absolutely. I mean, the gold resource we just announced uh, is, is the first resource, and it's, uh, that part of the program is behind the rare earths. And the rare earths is the real key to the company and the value, although the gold is very nice as well. But the rare earths is the, the major driving factor of the company. If I'm not mistaken, I, and I've been following rare earth companies now for quite some time, you're the only, uh, Rare Element Resources is the only company that I have invested in, but I think in terms of development and in terms of, uh, I, I guess I'll use the word loosely, share appreciation, you guys are the leaders of the pack, so to speak. There, there's a whole bunch of reasons for that, and you know, one is that we've had great success on our exploration. Okay. Our, our guys in the field have been drilling, and the deposits getting larger and larger, and our even our grades of our rare earth oxides have been getting higher and higher. Mm -hmm. Another thing is that we have a very tight share structure, so we've got about 43 and a half million shares outstanding now, which makes our shares very volatile. And the final reason is just what's the macro uh, effect of what's been going on in, in the rare earth markets, and the rare earth prices have. Uh, gone up about seven to eight hundred percent uh, since last August. Let's go back just to one, to one thing you said a couple sentences ago. You said that we have a tight share structure, and that what's, that's what makes the share price very volatile. And then your next comment was, or your comment in, in conjunction with that was, we have about forty-three million shares outstanding. Okay, for a junior company, you need to be aware. Outstanding number of shares of forty-three million is not a small number, but in the case of Rare Element. The reason that Mark is saying is what he, you know, making the comment about a, a tight share structure, that means that the, in effect the float, the amount of stock available for trading is small, okay? Why is that going on with rare element resources? One simple reason, a lot of the stock is held by management, a lot of the stock is held by directors, a lot of the stock is held by insiders. You guys aren't selling. No, we're not. There's been a few small uh, exercises of stock options, but the, the team has actually been, uh, in some cases, uh, acquiring stock. Our president, Don Rant, actually uh, exercised stock options for about 140,000 shares, sold a very small portion, and is actually holding the rest, which is a, a very good uh, vote of confidence oh, for, exactly. for what's going on with the company. Yeah, no question yeah. about it. Let's talk real quickly about the management team, because I have found in, in over 30 years of investing, 
I have found it's, re I mean, sure, it's about the asset, sure, it's about the amount of money you have, but it's really about the people steering the ship, so to speak. Talk about the top three or four people. We've been uh, we've been building out the team this year, and what we've done is taken some of our consultants and made them into full-time, uh, high-level executives, actually. Right. I mean, Don Rant is a PhD geologist, as you said, and he's been fantastic to work with and the real driver behind the company. Okay. Um, we just hired a gentleman who's a mining engineer, actually a metallurgist by trade. Um, we hired him from a company called Knight Peasold, mm -hmm. uh, Jay Pickards. He's been appointed as our chief operating officer. And uh, we've also already worked with him for about uh, eight or nine months. And mm -hmm. uh, it's been a great relationship, and he's happy to join us full time now. Super. So Super. And he was one of the top guys there. We've also engaged a gentleman called George Byers. Mm -hmm. Again, George worked for a, a, a government relations uh, firm uh, down in Denver and uh, left the group to actually join us full time. And he's been fantastic to work with. And he's talking to people in the community and telling them about what rare earths are for, dealing with the government people and any of those issues we have, because we always have to deal with government putting a mine sure, in production. Sure, sure. And he's been a fantastic communicator, and we've had a lot of support from the government. There's, there's a number of meetings coming up over the next few months, just to, just to keep them apprised at this point. Then, of course, we've got um, Jim Clark, one of the top uh, rare earth experts on geology in the world, leading um, all our exploration program. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we've done is actually divided up our, our um, uh, golden rare earths. One is run by a gentleman called John Levitt, who's another senior geologist. And actually, his wife, Ellie Levitt, is in charge of the, uh, the rare earths exploration. Mm -hmm. And they both report into a gentleman called John Ray, who is another senior geologist as well, who will port, report to Jim Clark. And uh, under them, there's a number of field geologists, but we, we've really got a great team there. And as an example, last year, we did, drilled a record number of holes. It was actually more than we planned to drill. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons they kept drilling is because they kept hitting higher and higher grades as they were doing step-out holes. And they were uh, excited last year because they didn't get to the edge of the deposit. The deposit is still getting bigger wow. on a couple of sides. So there's a lot of exciting things happening on the ground there. Going to be a really interesting year, I have to believe, for news flow. I mean, you guys are pretty active down there, and I would guess that there's some probably big events right around the corner for this company. We think so. Uh, we, you know, we had a lot of great results this year, but we had one really interesting surprise that we're going to be uh, working on with the drill this year, which is that... Uh, one of our gold pods, which is about uh, 350 meters away from our rare earths uh, deposit, um, actually hit in the gold. We hit a couple intercepts, one of which of rare earths, mm -hmm. uh, one of which was 4.6% uh, over 30 uh, feet. So you're talking high grade rare earths. Um, we did not expect that. And this was in the gold pod? That was in the gold pod. Yeah. And actually on the rare earth side, directly in line with that, about 350 meters away, in one of our rare earth holes, we actually hit 80 feet of one gram per ton gold. And those are all in our news releases, and we didn't say a lot about those because mm -hmm. they were little surprises for us. They're pleasant surprises. The, the deposits are still a separate area, so they're not overlapping within the same holes. But there's a huge area in the middle there that is wide open that we need to go and do quite a bit of work on this year. And hence, news flow will be coming out of there. There'll be a lot of drill results. Uh, you know, we don't know what they'll be, but we, we're, we're, we're putting that into the plan for this year. We also have to follow up on these step-out areas where we're mm -hmm. getting high-grade mm -hmm. uh, uh, returns on the, on the rare earth oxides. Um, we're also doing a, what's interesting outside of the project. We've taken a 10-ton bulk sample. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is actually very exciting. It sounds kind of boring, but it's exciting because we're running through this uh, through a test plant down in Denver. Mm -hmm. And at the end of that test plant is going to come out a sample of actual rare earth concentrates. And wow. that'll be the first product that we've actually had on, on a major scale. We've done this on the bench scale testing. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, so this product we're going to get, we'll be able to use for two things. Number one, uh, further metallurgical testing for separation of the individual rarers. And number two, showing it to customers. Sure. And that's, that's very exciting for us because we have not gone out and solicited customers. We've had some people come to us, but we've said, you know, hold on now. We want to be able to show you something before sure. we can talk to you. So that, that's a really big deal for us. Let's talk about another really big deal. Here you have a company that's run by a large number of highly qualified people who are obviously dedicated to the company. Number two, you've got a significant asset located in a politically very, very stable, hopefully very, very stable area, mm -hmm. uh, the United States. Number three, they have plenty of money. There's no need, there's absolutely no need for rare animal resources to go out and raise any money until they actually get to the production stage, which is predicted uh, to be 2014. You know. I have to tell you, you have to wonder why a company like this is called a junior resource company when they have the sophisticated management that they do, the assets, etc. 
Last point, again in the interest of full disclosure, Big Al is not a registered investment advisor. Uh, we are simply talking about a company that Mark is intimately involved in and a company that I happen to like and have invested in. Don't take this as investment advice. Click on their banner on our website. You get all the information you want about rare element resources. Uh, you can make your own decisions about that after you have looked at all the information. Mark, thanks so much, buddy. Thanks very much. Great to be here.